Hello, welcome to Math 116, Math for Liberal Arts, online at UMKC. The purpose of this video is to go over the syllabus for the course. You will find the syllabus within Canvas. You can click on the syllabus tab on the toolbar on the left hand side of the page and you'll always find the most updated version of the syllabus here. You can download it to your desktop or print it off here. Some things that I want to kind of highlight in the syllabus um, is the office hours. So every semester they might be different. So you want to make sure you know the office hours for your specific um, semester can be found in the syllabus. The link to the virtual office hours in Zoom can be found here and a few other places. Um, information about the course, a little bit about the history of Math 116 and the state's initiative of Core 42. So Senate Bill 997 states um, that the general education 42 credit hour block has to guarantee to be transferable within the Missouri State Institutions. So this course is part of the Mathematic Pathway course for the three credit hours of general math credit that's guaranteed to transfer. This specific course is the Mathematical Modeling and Reasoning Core 42 course. So any of these will meet the Core 42 requirements. If your degree program requires calculus or another math, then you would have to have the correct prerequisite for that course. But if your degree program requires three hours of college level math, this course um, meets those requirements for any state institution. So a little bit about that um, at the state level. Information about this specific course at UMKC the textbook we will be using and the online homework system we will be using can be found here. This course is part of the auto access and you have a opt out date. You can find more information from the bookstore. They'll be sending you emails, but also the opt out date on your syllabus. So keep in mind um, for your specific semester what that opt out date is. The topics that will be covered and the information about the homework is also um, in the syllabus. Your homework, quizzes, and exams will all be within the My Math Lab system, and they have different settings for that. Some things I want to um, highlight, homework, if you work on it after the due date, you have a 20% deduction on the points that are completed after the original due date. Quizzes and exams, you have to get permission from me to access them after the due date. So on quizzes, you have unlimited attempts on a quiz. So um, you can take it as many times as you need up into the due date. After the due date, if you want to go back and reattempt those problems, you're going to have to um, email me and ask permission for that. On exams, you have two attempts. So if you take an exam and you bomb it, um, you'll have another attempt on that exam um, up into the due date. After the due date, um, you would have to have access from me again. The breakdown of percentages, the homework quizzes and exams, exams and final exam, each percentage is on the syllabus, as well as the overall letter grade percentage, and you can find your current grade in my math lab. Um, policies, you can read a little bit about the, the policies. This is an online course, so um, some of the things we're required to put in there might not um, pertain to the online course. As far as the uh, resources that you can find within the Canvas system, as far as like faculty recording and things like that, you can read more of that in Canvas. And you can click on this link to see all the policies for um, the College of Arts and Sciences. The support for this course. This is an online math course, and I understand uh, a lot of students have anxiety dealing with math online. So. You can always attend office hours at the, the front page of your syllabus. You can post questions to the Piazza message board. So this is an online homework system. You can take a screenshot. Um, there's actually, if you watch the, the next video on my math lab and canvas, there's a help me solve it button, various help within the system. There is 24 seven tutoring within canvas. And then there's also going to be some 
supplemental instructions and you're going to check your email for that in any given semester where that will be and when. You can go to the Math and Science Tutoring Center on campus and so we try to have a wide variety of resources available. If you're willing to put in the time and work through this course, you're going to be successful. Um, this module here is where you can find the link to this video if you want to rewatch it at any given point in time. And you can also find the link to the next video that goes over Canvas and um, the MyMath Lab system. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.